people that that commit sexual abuse to children, not only does it change their lives, change the outcome of their lives for the rest of their life, but but it's murder on their soul. It's 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 so damaging, and, and I'm not going to hide behind and hide my face. I'm I'm going to step forward and, and talk for these people and represent these people. And it's not just about the case involving us. It, it, it's about abuse worldwide and about doing the right thing and coming forward and getting healing. And I want to thank uh, Sheriff Rand and Detective uh, Sergeant Tim Schultz for, for their work in this case. And it's time that justice is served and, and to move on and get healing. And we're just hoping that the people that, that are seeing this and reading this will support us and come forward to make what, right what was wrong. And this is just the calm before the storm. This is just our step one, and I'm glad we're in this process. And as we un this unfolds, the truth and the story will come out um, about the cover-ups and the things that happened and the damage that rap has done. And hopefully the community will bond together and help these guys get closure and heal, heal and, and make a better day for them. That, that there is, there's strength in numbers, and that's what we need. We need people to wrap around and support these guys. We need people from not only the non-Catholic community, but from the Catholic community especially, to step forward and, and make right what was wronged 30 years ago. Because this is not something that just goes away, and this is not something that, that you just forget. You can repress it, and you can bury it. And of course, you know all the stigma that comes with, with sexual abuse with, with minors. Um, this is step one in our healing process, and, and I hope that that's what this brings, is healing to these survivors. And, and there are still some that are, are living as victims right now that we need to bring over to the survivor stage and, and understand that there's not shame in this and there's nothing to be embarrassed about, and that we need to take the forefront in this to protect not only the kids with us right now, but the kids to come in the future, and that people understand that when you commit a crime like this and you put your hands on a child, that there is going to be repercussions and that you can run, but you can't hide and that this will catch up to you.